Hey guys, we've uh, just made it to the airport to go on to our second leg of the trip. Palawan. Palawan, yep. And when we say we just made it, we literally just made it. Kirsty's uncle just made it over from Ireland last night, so they thought it was a great idea to stay up drinking all night. Not a great idea because no one could get up in the morning, so we've only just made it. Check-in's closed, they let us on anyway, but the good thing is they haven't started boarding yet. So, first part of the adventure, hectic. We'll see what happens yeah. when we get to the next stage. Okay, guys. So, we just hit like a road bluff for a bit. We're on the plane and then we're told after about an hour that we had to change the plane because it was a lightning warning so they couldn't take off or feel the plane was sitting in. They fueled an empty plane and then we just moved from one plane to the other. So it's now 9.41. It's a one hour flight and we should have made it 41 minutes ago. underground river and this time we're going to go in a paddle powered boat. We'll let you know how we go along the way and hopefully we'll see you on the other side. and we just got up for our breakfast. It's just after 7 o'clock in the morning and you can hear the roosters and the cockerels going off. They start guys at about <laughs> like 4 a.m. every day, no matter where you are in the Philippines, 4 a.m. roosters go. So yeah, we've got our breakfast here. We've got um, pancakes with fruit and maple syrup. So what they've done guys is that there's only six of us and they've actually cooked for eight people. And we thought, oh yeah, there's you know other people from other rooms coming in and we'll just join the same table and talk. No. Apparently they said oh we might as well have Ooh, meals idea. for eight people because the rooms that we booked were originally for eight people. So um, more eating I guess.
have Palawan. Those are the tribe from the southern part of Palawan. If you can notice po, ano, Palawan po, that's our place. Then Palawan, those are the tribe from the word itself. On the green board, uh, that's their dying ancient alphabet. So, we call that as Ibal Nan. Ma'am, sir, uh, it's different from the Baybayin or the Alibata of the Philippines. Their dialect po, ano, is much more closely related to Bahasa tribe of Indonesia. Ito po. So, ma'am sir, uh, he is showing you one of the very important uh, traditional product of their tribe. Hindi po tawas yan, ha? So, it's a sap. Dagta po siya. So, it's a sap or resin from a huge tree. So, we call that almasiga tree that grows from higher elevation. distances to go island hopping and coming the back the, uh, the underground river, river yeah. yeah but we've had a really good time I think it'd be good to go again but, but just don't do the trip in the in the bus in one go it's yeah. literally five hours of travel in a car with no road rules no speed limit and it's it's um, it's pretty scary if you're sitting in the front seat the destination is worth it but the travel is not worth it so it's up to you guys what you want to do anyways we're going to Board soon because we're at the airport now and we'll see you back in Manila. Bye.